All right, then, Muzz, let's uh, talk about the, these three youngsters that have got these uh, new contracts. First of all, Jack Thomas, keeping him here for another two seasons after the end of this one. I think that just shows just how great he's been over the last month or so, and, and he's deserved it, hasn't he? Yeah, he's, he's been he's been excellent. I wouldn't say he's been great because great's a, it's a strong word. Uh, he will be great. Um, he's, he's been excellent since he's come in. He's done exactly what I knew he'd do. Um, and it's about us now looking after him and, and making sure we get the, the best out of him at the right time. Now, what sort of things can you do now with him to make sure that he keeps developing further? I think a big thing is keeping focused. Um, the work physically and technically will go into him and he'll improve in that aspect but the the biggest thing will be to keep his focus. I've been where, where Jack is and I, I've been through it and, and probably seen the, the wrong side of it as well as the good side so um, I'll manage him in my way and, and I'll get the best out of him as, as I see it. I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have been through it myself so um, I'll be strict with him but at the same time I'll be fair and um, he'll be a great asset for the football club. The other two, Joe Fitzpatrick and Corbin Shires, we've seen uh, both of those signing pro deals until the end of next season. Uh, we had a cameo role from Joe Fitzpatrick uh, at one of the games earlier this season. Uh, not seen a lot about Corbin. What is it about Corbin, first of all, that's made you decide that he's someone that deserves a, p a pro contract? I think he's, he's got the potential to be a complete centre-half. Um, he's nine foot seven, but with feet of a wizard. So... Um, when you've got them, them two, two ingredients for a centre back, it's brilliant. He can play. Uh, he's not scared of the ball, um, and he can defend as well. So, he's only a baby, and it's he, he's part of the the future of this football club. It's he's part of the base that I want to um, evolve at this club, and um, he's one of a number that that we're really pleased with. Yeah, and talk about Joe as well. As we said, we saw a little bit of what he is he's of when he came on as the second half yeah. sub recently. What is it about him as well? I mean, he looks like he's a, another central midfielder with a future. Yeah, he's a, he's a footballer. He, he loves the ball. Technically outstanding. Uh, I'll put him in the same bracket as Chris Clements, um, potentially. Um, we're now getting into him the the other side of the game and the, the physical side and what you have to do without the ball. And um, Joe really excites me. And one of the biggest things for me with the kids is the there's um, a really honest care about about the situation. It's it's when you look at them and you look into their eyes that they care. Um, about everything that's going on, and and that's not saying that experienced players don't, but the um, the vision of these young kids is look, whatever it takes, I'll do to to make one their career go, and and two, um, to make the the club pro progress, and um, the honesty and the the enthusiasm, and you put that together with the talent and the ability, then it's a, it's a real nice um, it's a real nice kind of product to have.